Hey my loves and thank you so much for tuning in to my new video. I know it's been a really, really long time. Y'all please excuse me. I've been like a TikTok girl lately in Instagram, but I did want to come with a video that is very, very requested. I get questions all the time and it's just really showing me that infertility is starting to be a really really big issue in the black community specifically with women so you know things like pcos even lupus any type of hormonal deficiency can really make it difficult for you to conceive i want to take you guys along on my fertility journey what i kind of did and tell y'all everything like talks about that happened to me the ins and outs the spiritual aspect of everything and just give you guys some support and some help during your fertility journey so let's take it back April 2021 is when I experienced my miscarriage. I didn't even know that I was pregnant, which is another significant indication of being disconnected from your feminine divine. Not having that intuitive, deep understanding of your feminine principles, your feminine energy. So I was told that I was pre-diabetic, I had PCOS, and I also had a weight issue. A lot of times with PCOS, it makes it very hard to lose weight. Your endocrine system will be affected, which is why a lot of women are unable to conceive or have that regular cycle that, you know, most fertile women do have. So I went on like a spiritual journey. If y'all know, looking at some of my older videos, it kind of just awakened me to the idea that I did not have that connection that I thought with my mind, my body, and my spirit. Sacred Woman was actually one of the first spiritual books that I ever, ever purchased for myself. I got my copy from Barnes and Nobles. As you guys can see, it is a very thick book. I'm still halfway done with it, but it's one of those books you kind of pick up and put down, you know, whenever you resonate with it or you just need to go back to it and kind of get some more information about your journey or along your journey. Another thing that they don't tell you in Big Pharma, they kind of just hand you this packet. Like when I was told my situation, everything that I was going through, they kind of just handed me this packet and was like, here you go and just sent me on my way. They told me how, you know, I could lose weight. They didn't tell me how, right? They just told me the things that needed to be done. If I wanted to conceive, there was things like IVF. I am not a fan of unnatural things. I personally did not want anything that they were telling me, which kind of kickstarted the whole F Big Pharma <laughs> mentality that I have because there was no support. There was no fertility support. So something that I started to look into is herbs and how herbs and different natural medicines that we have on this earthly realm are here to assist us because you know I was I grew up very Christian so God placed natural herbs natural fruits natural vegetables it's even in the Bible but this whole time I claimed to be you know Christian I was kind of strung away from that I did not understand the power of fruits the power of organic vegetables and herbs right so everything that happened it happened for a reason i know a lot of people are like oh my god i'm so sorry for your loss but honey one thing i started to realize in my mind is that there is never a loss there is never any type of l right you just turn your l's into lessons and i literally started to realize that i was not taking care of my temple i was not in a place of good health i was not in alignment with you know spirit i did not know a lot of things that i know now and I'm still learning right this journey has been beautiful I've learned a lot let's start off with what really kind of kick-started everything for me which was fasting the power of fasting I started to look into how to naturally cleanse your endocrine system because there's medicines that you can take of course but I like I said I like natural remedies the body what I started to learn reading let me see if I can get it this was another great book that I picked up for myself. It's called Secrets of Self Healing by Dr. Mayo Sing Ni. This is a Chinese healing book, but I mean, all of it is ancient. It's ancient wisdom that, you know, our ancestors long, long, long before knew. Especially if you're into like comedic spirituality, which I started to get really into. I mean, understanding the power of fasting, right? So I went, after my miscarriage, I went about seven days where I was on a liquid fast. That may sound crazy to the average viewer, but there's a lot of healing powers in fasting. There's dry fasting and there's liquid fasting. I personally did a liquid fast because 
I wanted to still do my herbal teas. One of the teas that I was able to create for myself as well as my shop, I sell this tea, it's called Rejuvenate on my website, vcdgems.com. This is a detox tea, it has your dandelion root, sarsaparilla, burdock root, and yellow dock. These are all really, really great internal cleansing herbs that, you know, even if you have issues with your digestive tract, issues with your blood, right? Issues with liver, anything that you could possibly think of, that tea is going to be a great benefit for it. So I went on my seven day fast. I was drinking my water, plenty of water. I was getting a lot of, you know, yoga time in. That's something else that really, really helped me during my journey. And I started to realize the healing powers of fasting. My endocrine system literally kind of rejuvenated itself, if you will. That's why I named my tea Rejuvenate. Rejuvenated itself, honestly. And the herbs were just that extra mile. It was like that extra extra assistive power because like I said if you read secrets of self-healing you will know that the body has its own powers as far as healing you don't even you don't even really need herbs herbs are just like extra medicine if you will another really really good herb I need to refill it but red raspberry leaf which is a feminine herb that really helps to assist with uterine health it helps to assist with irregular cycles if you're somebody that cramps a lot it also helps with conceiving so everything that i teach on my platform bees hidden gems is what i utilize to help myself and a lot of people don't know but even when i came out with the men collection m-e-n-d men i was going through everything i was literally going through through the miscarriage I was going through the hormonal imbalances the hormonal acne the PCOS the weight issues and through me crafting and creating different things I was then able to not only heal myself but to offer it to the world as well so I tell you all the time like we're healing together I'm always I'm never at a time where like I'm not healing I'm healing every day like I'm healing and rejuvenating parts of myself and unearthing parts of myself that I, did, I didn't even know about so it's been a beautiful journey honestly and like I said I had to realize a lot of the foods that I was eating trash unnatural right so when you're not in alignment with your natural abilities for the body to conceive for women right that's a natural thing that women should have you have to look at are you eating natural foods because a lot of the foods we eat nowadays read the boxes read your ingredients you will understand that it's not organic it's not beneficial to our temples i also went vegan that helped me to not only just lose the 60 pounds i lost about 60 pounds y'all i was big i didn't know that i was big until you know i went to the doctor they kind of told me like you're pre-diabetic and you're very overweight there's a lot of things that I had to be accountable for that were very hard. I had to unlearn a lot of behaviors, things that I thought were okay to eat. I then started to realize the power of veganism and how veganism can really help you to heal yourself. Not only just losing weight, but healing things like your womb, right? It's a very nutrient dense way of life, especially if you go raw vegan. I personally went raw vegan for the first like couple of months while I was healing especially after the fast just because I wanted to maintain the nutrients in my body but then I kind of switched over to like an 80 20 so I was 80 percent alkaline 20 percent acidic which I still am today and it also really helped me to conceive so you're talking from April 2021 to December of 2021 I got pregnant it didn't take that long for me. I know some people, their journey is different, but like I said, I did a lot of aggressive healing measures. I was somebody who went, you know, and did the fast, who did, you know, different herbs and different things of that nature, different yoga, which Sacred Women talks a lot about. Something else that I want to mention is the power of your mind. So Big Pharma, they're going to tell you, you know, you're infertile. And that's why I stopped going to the doctor. They told me things like, you're infertile, look at this, and you know looking to IVF and teaching you ways to kind of rest in your conditions and rest in your diagnosis but that's not me that never was me I never take something and just be okay with it that somebody has told me so I knew that I could change it and when you have that mentality when you have that thought in your mind and you hold yourself to that value things will come up for you you will start to come across people that will teach you different things I met a lot
lot of beautiful souls that taught me different herbs like maca powder even which is another thing that is included in my womb wellness kit so everything that i'm talking about i know i'm kind of all over the place but everything that i'm talking about is in my womb wellness kit that i offer on v 10 gymscom you can check it out if you want to it's 77 dollars and 77 cents because you know i love my angel numbers something that i also was acquainted with on my fertility journey i started to see angel numbers everywhere you know and when i would see those angel numbers things would kind of pop up for me whether it was a person whether it was a place or an idea or a book even. So I also wanted to incorporate that in these hidden gems. So like I said, the power of the mind. I had to learn to relax. Like a lot of people don't know this tattoo right here. It's actually in my handwriting. It's, it says breathe because I was somebody who was always like anxious, right? And that's anytime you have any type of anxiety or fear, that is an automatic disconnect from your root chakra. Something that I started to learn is, you know, this society, it teaches you to be anxious. It teaches you to be worried and nervous about things, right? Look at our news, right? So I had to get away from all that. I had to eliminate all type of fear. I had to delete a lot of things that I was following on my social media platforms. If somebody was posting negative things, done. You're, you're, you're unfollowed, you know? And I had to make my platform a positive a place to be in. I surrounded myself with beautiful artists, beautiful creators that were doing beautiful things with their lives, right? That's where the idea of serenity came from. So serenity was like my girl, right? This is an oil that really helped me to relax my mind, body, spirit, and soul. It has lavender in it, vitamin E oil, castor oil, which is a very, very powerful healing oil, as well as fresh organic lavender buds, okay? So that is going to really calm you down just to let you know, like, yo, you're good. Like, we be, we be creating things in our head just like me because I was like, oh my God, what if I can't, what if I can't conceive? What if I can't have a baby? What if I can't? Shut up. <laughs> shut up respectfully like sometimes you have to tell yourself to shut up give yourself grace right but you know we're human we're spiritual beings first going through human experiences and if you have those tools along the way that can really assist you on your journey it can make it a little bit easier so i started to get into crystal healing amethyst was one of my favorite you see how big it is this is like my favorite biggest crystal that i have this is the first crystal that i ever even really started to study because I realized that amethyst really kind of enhances your spiritual powers. This is when I received a lot of downloads as far as surrendering, as far as releasing these external ideologies that I have for myself and starting to put more power internally, right? So that's where the first ideas of these hidden gems even came from. That's where the idea of leaving my job, leaving the army even came from. I literally would meditate outside and you're gonna look crazy, but who cares? I said, in an apartment too at the time so i was outside all the time and i used to just meditate in the sun with my amethyst either on my forehead or on my chest because amethyst has a lot of great powers that it can give you and enhances your life another crystal that was really helpful along my journey is carnelian and carnelian is great for anybody that may be struggling with wound deficiencies any type of painful cycles any type of yeast infections bv or anything like that it's going to bring happiness and joy into your womb even just looking at the color is very orange if you can see it's very orange, it's so pretty, it has different like lines in it. So this was really honestly, one of my second crystals that I just kind of fell in love with like head over heels. I also got a ring made from my girl Tahichi Fine, she's so bomb. But yeah, there's so many ways to naturally heal. Crystals are naturally forming of the land. And just understanding yourself more, having a deep understanding through journaling, through shadow work, right? Because spiritual wise, there was a lot of darkness rooted in you know, my masculine energies that I had for myself because at a very young age, my feminine energies were wounded through, you know, my father and things of that sort, which is a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But like I said, you know, I had to unearth things, you know, that I kind of wanted to suppress or kind of wanted to hide from myself and didn't want to talk about. So you may, you know, if you're going to cry a little bit, you got to hug yourself a lot. That's something that I never really thought of doing.
doing is hugging myself i had to do that and just fall back in love with you you know and essentially what you'll realize is that your energy your vibrations will begin to increase itself so things that you may be wanting or things that you may be manifesting it's gonna come back to back to back to back and you know law of rhythm is all up and down up and down but if you tell yourself hey through these downs when i'm at my low points i know that it's gonna be a high point around the corner like i know i'm just going through this small challenge to teach myself something some type of lesson that is here in the midst and i'm needing to learn and gather for myself you will be able to literally maneuver through your darkness maneuver through your dark times it's all lessons right it's all for the evolution of our consciousness also another really great thing that helped me throughout my journey is the power of creativity i won't go into it too deep but the power of creation when we talk about our wounds our wounds are specifically to create to create life as a woman when you are infertile you can literally kind of decipher that as being out of touch with creativity you know because this society right we're going to school we're going to work we have so many things outside of ourselves to worry about and stress about we don't really think of creativity and that does not have to be art it does not always have to be art it could be creative writing it could be things like sculpting it could be things like simply event planning creating some type of event that you're going to be happy about the biggest part about it is making sure you're happy all the way through you don't want to do something that's going to stress you out i was somebody that used to try to paint like faces and i started to realize that's very stressful my flower pot right here was one of the first things that i kind of painted it's very simple as you can see so i gave myself simple things to paint i used to do a lot of abstract art in the beginning my art was very dark it was very gloomy but i had to get that out of myself and then i started to utilize more powerful colors more beautiful colors especially when my cycle came back on and i was very like relieved of that because i almost went what 18 months without seeing my cycle so just knowing that hey this stuff is really working that's when i started to paint more lively colors and more high energy colors and things of that sort definitely especially with pcos or any type of infertility challenge you definitely want to revisit the power of creativity and just creating things that you're happy about if you guys have any more questions feel free to leave them down below I definitely am working on something for y'all, the women specifically with infertility issues. So be on the lookout for that. I will be announcing that probably in the next week or two. And I'm so excited for this journey growing with Bees Hidden Gems. Be sure to check out my website again if you have not already. And follow me on Instagram, Bees Hidden Gems and That Girl Vani. And I will see you guys next time. I don't know when I'm gonna post another video, but hopefully it'll be soon because I know it's been so long since the last time. But see you next time, guys. Bye.